Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a mackerel bait onto our double J-hook trace we built. I showed you guys a while ago how to do this trace. The bait we're going to build is mainly for non-edible fish like sharks and rays and it's going to be a nice smelly bait. We're also going to use our little dingle dangle, attach it to our trace and obviously we clip the dingle dangle onto our sinker and that helps us to get distance when casting the bait. Right, this is a very simple bait to make. We're going to start off by measuring the size we're going to make our bait. I just place hooks on top of the bait. So I'm going to cut the bait off just below the hooks there. And that's where the approximate size of our bait. Put the tail section there, we'll use it just now. And then I'm going to start off by shaping the mackerel a little bit. And that helps with the aerodynamics of the bait. Okay, so when we're done with that, we grab our little bait needle, it's my little homemade bait needle, and you want to push it through the mackerel from the bottom, and you want to come out the mouth of the mackerel, bait needle, like that, take a little dingle dangle, clip it onto our bait needle, and pull it through the mackerel. So now we've got our dingle dangle going through our bait, and we're going to put the hook through the lips of the mackerel, through the dingle dangle, out the top lip, and that'll do the job. All right, so now basically we take our hook, the top hook on our trace is going to go through the bottom lip, like I said, through the dingle dangle, and then out the top, just like that. So after we put the hook through the dingle dangle, the lips of the mackerel, I'm just going to grab a bit of cotton, just cotton that, that mouth section so it's nice and firm, it doesn't move when I cast. So a little bit of cotton, nice and tight, break it off. Alright, so we've got our top hook in the bait. Alright, so our bottom hook's going to sit at the bottom of the bait. Measure where you want it and then just push it through your bait into the right position. Like that. The hook's in place now and I'm gonna grab the cotton and just cotton the hook onto the bait. And that'll hold everything nice and firm in place. When that's done, loop knot, end of your cotton, and there we go first part of our bait's done. We put that down, now we're going to grab this little tail end we cut off, it's going to split it in half and we're going to put it upside down onto the bait. The one there. And the other one. Discard that piece of spine. Also like just to split these fillets, it helps me shape them around the bait. Then there's a lot of flavor that comes out of them as well. Now from here, we just grab our little fillet, put it onto our bait, and then cotton that on as well. Okay, so we grab our other fillet, put it on the other side of our mackerel head, shape it and cotton that one on. There we go. And there we go, very simple little bait. You can actually add some more cutlets onto it if you want to. Cut another mackerel, you can add cutlets to the top, the bottom. Just make sure you don't bury the hook. Very nice, effective bait. And like I said, got our little dingle dangle on there. When you're casting, clip that on and everything's nice and aerodynamic. Flies nicely through the air. Nice, smelly, double J hook mackerel bait. 